are snakes immune to their own venom? In the animal kingdom, there are countless examples of animals with incredible defensive and offensive physical attributes. Some of these attributes are physically distinct, like the horn of a rhinoceros or the shell of a tortoise, whilst others are more discreet and only apparent when in use, like the spray of a skunk. In this category of discreet tactics are poison and venom, which, despite being similar in effect, function by completely different means. Poison, being composed of small molecules, works by being ingested or absorbed into the body, and so does not require the creation of a wound to be effective. This means that poison tends to be administered passively, and is usually used as a defensive strategy, most often requiring being eaten, or tasted in the very least, to take effect on an attacker. A reason for which poisonous animals are often brightly coloured, to warn predators of their toxic nature to hopefully avoid being munched on. Venom, being constituted of larger molecules, needs a wound to enter the bloodstream and take effect. Hence why it is usually introduced via a sting, scratch, or bite. As such, it is frequently used offensively, even if the aim is to defend, as it requires decisive action to be injected. Snakes, given they have any form of chemical weaponry, are venomous. In fact, of the 3,000 extant species of snake, around 600 share this ability, with each one using their fangs, or teeth, to inject venom into their victims or attackers. However, there is at least one exception to this snakes are only venomous rule, and that is the tiger keelback, which happens to be both venomous and poisonous. This species, like the 599 others, has the ability to produce venom, but it has also evolved specialized organs known as nuchal glands, where it can store toxins extracted from its poisonous toad prey, rendering it poisonous also. So, some snakes can definitely ingest poison and survive, even though it remains extremely rare. But can venomous snakes be harmed by the venom of other snakes then? Or their own venom? When it comes to surviving another snake's venom, the answer is, it depends, but most likely not. The main reason for this is that venoms aren't identical in structure or mechanism, with some being hemotoxic and others neurotoxic. Hemotoxic venoms affect the circulatory system, your blood basically, and usually inhibit blood from clotting, which results in high levels of blood loss. Neurotoxic venoms, on the other hand, target the central nervous system, so the brain and spinal cord, and essentially shut down your organs, making them, in general, deadlier than hemotoxic venoms. Bearing this distinction in mind, if a snake were bitten by an individual from a different species with the other type of venom, then the bitten individual would definitely not be immune, and would subsequently feel the effects of the venom. In the event that a snake is bitten by an individual from another species, but this time with the same category of venom, the bitten snake would almost certainly still be affected. And I say almost, because given that the two species share the same principal toxins in their venom, then it is possible for there to be some overlap in terms of their immunity. Still, because the composition of venom varies so much, it remains extremely unlikely that the bitten individual would be unaffected. Finally, if a snake were to be bitten by a conspecific, so a member of the same species, the venom would likely not kill or affect the bitten individual, because most venomous snakes do have a certain immunity to their own venom. However, according to a study titled Poisonings in the Captive Reptile, the relative strength of their immunity is highly dependent on the dosage of venom injected, as well as the site at which the snake is bitten. As such, cases of snakes dying from being bitten by conspecifics are not overly rare. And, if it weren't obvious already, the result would be the same if a snake were to inject itself with venom. It should survive, but not if it injects too much venom, and especially if it injects it in the wrong place. One final point. Snakes obviously swallow and digest prey that they have killed with their own venom, and they survive. But the reason for which this happens is not just to do with them being immune. The main reason for which they survive this is that specific digestive proteins in their stomach, known as enzymes, are responsible for rapidly breaking down the ingested venom, neutralizing its toxicity and rendering it harmless. And, interestingly, most vertebrates, so mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, and fish, have these enzymes too, meaning they technically can also ingest venom with no adverse effects. Now, this does not mean one should go around chugging venom, or should be feeding venom to their pets just because they can technically digest it. Reality is, all it takes is one little cut or open blood vessel anywhere between your mouth and stomach for the venom to get into your bloodstream, which would make it harmful or deadly again. Which is one of multiple reasons for which sucking venom from a wound is considered unsafe. All in all, snakes are an incredibly diverse and redoubtable group of animals, but their powers of immunity do only take them so far, which settles, for now, this slivery stumper about snake survival.